I asked you guys on my Facebook page and on my Twitter what you guys wanted to see today and overwhelmingly you guys wanted to talk about panic attacks, specifically how to help someone who is having a panic attack. Those of us who have had panic attacks know how to help someone else with a panic attack. That leaves a lot of other people though who have no idea how to help, but they want to. If someone you know is having a panic attack, it can be really difficult to know how to handle it in the moment. They might be very anxious, not thinking clearly, feeling like they can't breathe. One of the main things about panic attacks is the person has this false belief in their head that danger is happening even though there is no danger present. So a panic attack or an anxiety attack is when a person exhibits an intense amount of fear or anxiety around a situation or an event when there really is no danger. And this can be really scary to people who are around the person having the anxiety attack because the person is saying, I feel like I'm going to die, I can't breathe, I feel like I'm losing control, and that can be very scary to hear. So here are some tips that I've told other people in my life to help me through anxiety attacks, and I really hope it helps you as well. Recognize what a panic attack is. A panic attack could feel or sound like someone is having a heart attack. The majority of people who have panic disorder go to the hospital because they feel like they're having a heart attack or some sort of breathing problem, when in actuality, they're having a panic attack. So if this person is exhibiting a panic attack for the first time, I would strongly encourage you to go to the hospital to get diagnosed with a panic attack, because it could be other things. So you wanna be sure and you wanna be safe. There are a lot of different symptoms of panic attacks, but the most common ones are feeling like you can't breathe, having increased heart rate, chest pain, other different types of aches and pains, feelings of losing control, feelings of I'm going to die, feelings of I can't breathe. It's very common to get tingly sensations in the body. For me personally, I get it in my hands. I know if I'm having a panic attack, if my hands start to have these tingly sensations. I can also feel them in my face as well. So it's very common for to have like tingling sensations in the face, hands, feet, any part of the body. Everyone is different exhibiting these symptoms, but these are just a few of the common ones that I exhibit. So why does this matter? Why do we need to know what a panic attack is? In my personal life, what I do is when, when I'm having a panic attack and I don't want to embarrass myself in front of people and I'm with my partner, my partner and I have a code word for when I'm having a panic attack so we can leave the situation or he can help me through my symptoms. And my code word with, with my partner is, I'm not feeling well. It's a very simple sentence, but we both know that when I say that to him, that means I'm having a panic attack and I need some support. And I think that's really good for having a code word with your friend or family member so you can take the situation back and get that control. And you can also have someone there to support you through the panic attack and help you calm down. Stay calm. If you're freaking out and they're freaking out, it's not gonna help the situation. You both are just going to make the situation a lot bigger. It's important to stay calm right now because you need to be strong for your friend or family member. Again, stay with them and help them feel calm. There are a lot of ways to do this. Everyone is different for what they need during a panic attack. For me personally, it depends on the situation. Sometimes I need someone to talk to me through it. Sometimes I need someone to hold me. Sometimes I just need to get out of the situation. So communication is very important when someone is exhibiting an anxiety attack. Help them be grounded. A lot of the times when you're having an anxiety attack, you're having like a, a lot of emotions and a lot of thoughts just coming into your head and we need to ground this person to calm them down. My favorite things to do to ground myself or for someone else to help me when I'm having a panic attack is talking just talking about what's going on, the situation, and working through that I'm safe and hearing that I'm safe. Also, what I've done in the past is my partner asks me about a certain event or something that makes me happy and has me describe something to him or just has a conversation with me to get me back because that's very important. Also, you can do a breathing techniques because that's very helpful. What I do is like, I either count my breaths, so I just slowly breathe and then count one, two, 
two and you can count with them it's you know it's up to you and what they want um breathing techniques are really good there's a lot of different types of grounding techniques i'll leave them down below in the description if they normally take medication maybe offer them the medication or ask where it is or how you can get it to them or if they've taken their medication and just talk to them hearing those encouraging words when you're having a panic attack is really good just talking to them and being extremely positive saying i believe in you or i'm proud of you or you're safe right now you're with me no one can hurt you the situation is not dangerous one of the things that i like to hear is you can breathe because my main symptom is my throat feeling like it's closing up so i like someone to tell me you can breathe you're talking so you can breathe you know breaking that logic down in my head that really is helpful and encourage them to seek treatment if they're not seeking treatment therapy is so beneficial for people with panic disorder or any type of anxiety disorder what helps you calm down when you're having a panic attack or what are some things that people have done to help you calm down that have helped? Or how have you helped someone calm down from a panic attack? I would love to know because what helps you could help somebody else. If you would like, follow me on all my social media because we're, we're a great family and I just love to hear from you. On my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, wherever you are, I am as well. Again, I love you guys. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.